Hi, this is Maginoni, and here's my review for uh, Heroic Age Avengers number 5. Now, I'm really, really confused with this title. On one hand, I really like it. I'm enjoying it. On the other hand, I wonder, is Bendis really testing my intelligence and making me think that this is really a very good story? Now, the reason being is like on the plus side, I like the fact that it's a big storyline. You have time travel, and it's not just that I don't. I usually don't like time travel, but what I like is what's happening. You know, it's like craziness. You had Kill Raven, Devil Dinosaur. You had Galactus, and there's all sorts of crazy stuff that's going on here. The big battle from the last step issue where you had Ultron versus all those hordes of different people. I mean, it was very interesting. It, it kind of appealed to me. On the other hand, I'm wondering what the heck is going on here. You have decent art, but I think it could be better. I don't think this is his best, uh, Jared Jared's best uh, work. I also think that he's basically, it looked to me like he doesn't really have an idea. So what he did was he just threw a bunch of fan service together and he was like, hmm, let's see, what can we give as a good villain that people like? Oh, let's give, oh, I don't know, Ultron. Yeah, because he's like a really cool villain. And I'm thinking, well, geez, you know, we just had Ultron and the Mighty Avengers. We just had Ultron with the Hank Pym Avengers, whatever they were called. You know, you had, they're just going to the well so much with Ultron. How can I, if Hank Pym can be Ultron, what makes you think, when I look at this lineup, that these guys would have any trouble with them? That's my point. It's He's a joke villain right now. To me, he's a joke, because they keep using him over and over and over again. And I'm like, and that's why I'm like, torn with this. I really am torn. I, I, and then plus, when you look at this issue here, and you have the new Avengers, the new Avengers, what has... Uh, demonic invasion. Central Park is, you know, a fa on fire. What's happening here? Same city, for the most part. Time is ripped apart, and you have craziness. You have Spider-Man on both teams. You know, I, I can't imagine... I understand time takes place differently in different, you know, issues and comics, things like that. But come on, this is right after the heroic gauge you're supposed to start it off this is a starting point. You've just convoluted everything just so that way you can make fan service. That's my problem with it. So, from now on, there's spoilers, so if you haven't read your book, come back later. Anyway, so let's go get through this mess here. Now, you have you have some of the Avengers here in, some, in the park, you know, the city, fighting. Uh, it was pretty cool way he just hammered onto Galactus. I was like, that part was cool. This is an impressive picture. Then you have Tony Stark waking up, and they're like, "Well, Tony, you know, we had to take your armor off. If we didn't take your armor off, Ultron would have just basically corrupted you again, like he did before." And he's like, "Oh, I made changes." He's like, "No, Ultron would have taken over you again." Now, apparently, they did a lot of explaining while Tony was out, and basically, what's happening is this: the Kang screwed up the time stream. He's been battling Ultron through through time, and what he's been doing, he's been gathering an army of people, and this army of people is basically kept failing. So now he's trying it again, and yeah, I'll give him this much. At least he's got a decent lineup of people. You know, you have the Hulk, Future Stark, modern day Stark, um, and you know, you'd think that those minds could actually figure something out. And here's an example of the timeline. Now, one thing I did find interesting here is, like, you have Heroic like Age Begins, then you have Hope Returns. Uh, so that's, you know, currently. Then you have this thing called Throwbacks, The Return of the King. You know, The Return of the King was a space adventure. So it looks like they're trying to put that storyline in here somehow. But it's out of the timeline now. And there's a thing called Chaos, Captain America Reborn is... Here, uh, new worlds in danger, or, or sorry, in disarray. So, I mean, there's actually, it looks like there's potentially 
some spoilers if you look closely at what's going on. Uh, who is worth with a question mark? You know, so there, Nova is over here. You know, so, so I think there's some stuff that if you really want to take a look at, you can maybe find something out. So anyways, that, that's the gist of what's going on. Now, what you have here is time just kind of going crazy. And it's starting to unravel again. So, they're kind of preparing for the unraveling. And they go, hey, who are you? You're Captain Marvel, right? He's like, no, I'm not Captain Marvel. Well, who are you then? And that's when they realize that he's a man that doesn't really belong here. So, that's where their starting point is. Where What they need to do is they need to go back into time, stop whatever happens during that time frame that's going to cause the, the, the split of everything and then fix it. So we go back to the apocalypse because that's technically the trigger of everything, right? And, you know, they're fighting it out, same similar battle, but this time what they use is they use the time machine and then they go to, a, a small group goes to um, visit somebody and that person is Ultron. And this time, like, you know, Ultron's like, well, you're going to fight me? And they're like, no, we actually came here uh, to ask you a favor. And then he's like, well, that is interesting. Well, yeah, granted, it's interesting because you expect a beat down. And to be honest with you, the way Ultron's supposed to be super powerful, there's no way these four people could beat Ultron. Well, maybe we don't know because of the, um, this guy, you know, the Marvel boy. But um, it could be a decent fight for him. But Cap and Wolverine, ah, those guys are dead. And Iron Man will just be taken over. But anyways, um, that's my general thought of it. it it's it's kind of like, I'm really torn. I really, really like to know what you guys think. Are you guys liking it or are you guys not? I've noticed some of the earlier posts it was falling out of favor. I'm curious to know, did this issue pick everything up for you? Uh, let me know. Uh, rate the video up or down. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll have uh, more reviews up later.